We've been told that saturated fats are going to kill us, when in actual fact, all the good quality evidence shows the exact opposite. And not only that, that the good quality evidence, the findings have actually been, I, I guess, swept under the carpet. They've been deliberately kept out of public view, including from scientists and medical doctors. Uh, the Sydney Diet Heart Study and the Minnesota Coronary Experiment. And they were both randomised controlled trials that looked at what happened when you removed saturated fat from the diet mm -hmm. and replaced it with vegetable oils, seed oils. And what they both found was that cholesterol would go down, but mortality rates would increase. And unfortunately, while these studies were completed in 1973, the findings actually weren't published until 2013 and 2016, respectively. So, I mean, they, they were completely swept under the carpet. This is an absolute, um, it should be a widespread scandal. Um, and when the investigators in one of the studies were asked why they didn't publish their results, they actually said, well, we didn't get the results we wanted. They actually deliberately, they, they didn't get the results that would support their hypothesis that they personally believed in. So they swept it under the carpet. And this is still happening today. We've got the $700 million publicly funded Women's Health Initiative study. And that has actually found real harms for people going on low saturated fat diets. They've found that there's, you know, increased problems, medical problems, cardiac disease, heart attacks, when people remove the saturated fat from their diet. And they've done their very best to obscure these findings and prevent them from ever seeing the light of day. The best data we have shows that people with higher LDL levels live longer. Mm. On average, higher LDL level confers longevity. And number two, which is absolutely fascinating, is that there is no known mechanism by which saturated fats actually increase LDL cholesterol. Rather, there's known mechanisms by which seed oils reduce LDL cholesterol because they, they have these uh, chemicals called sterols. They're plant chemicals, phytochemicals, plant sterols, that our body will absorb thinking that it's, it can use it, but it can't actually assimilate it into the body, so it forces our cholesterol levels to lower. So when we talk about saturated fats increasing cholesterol levels, they're not increasing cholesterol levels physiologically. They're merely restoring them to a level. It's actually vegetable oils and seed oils artificially lower our cholesterol levels. And that's something really important. So if uh, any of your listeners out there and they get into an argument with a, or a discussion, a debate with anybody about saturated fats, ask them what the mechanism is by which saturated fats actually increase LDL levels. It'll be a, a, an interesting response.